practical lights, finding the right bulbs to mix with your professional lights. In this video, we'll explain what a practical light is and which bulbs work best in them when mixing these consumer lights with professional film and video lights. First, let's get a few definitions out of the way. So what is a practical light? A practical light is an actual working light that appears in a scene. This could be a lamp, for example. A practical light helps tell the audience where a light source is coming from and adds realism to the shot. I consider a professional video light to be a light that was designed for film and video production. These lights usually have very good color rendition and do not cause annoying flicker. In addition, these lights are often dimmable. These professional production lights are not visible in a scene. They are kept off camera, but are extremely important for getting proper camera exposure and creating the right mood for a scene or a shot. So are the bulbs that are in a practical light important? The answer is yes, because a cheap bulb may flicker or cast some unnatural looking light in your shot. Light that is too blue, too orange, too green, or too magenta, for example. These consumer light bulbs may also be too dim or too bright in a scene. That's why I always carry around a couple of dimmers and multiple good practical light bulbs in my light kit that I can depend on if the onset practical light has an ugly looking bulb in it. Let me show you what my bulbs look like on camera right next to light coming from a professional lighting fixture. For this demonstration, the pro light we'll be using is the Godox VL150. It's a LED light that is daylight balanced 5600K. In case you don't know, K stands for Kelvin. Kelvin is a way to measure the color temperature of a light. Different light sources have different color temperatures. This chart shows that a pro daylight bulb is around 5600 degrees Kelvin, and a pro tungsten bulb is around 3200 degrees Kelvin. Professional lights usually produce one of these color temperatures or can be switched to either one of these color temperatures. The switchable ones can usually be adjusted to a color temperature in between 3200 and 5600 K as well, which can often be very helpful. Basically, low Kelvin numbers are warmer looking light sources like a candle flame that produces a color temperature of 1800 degrees Kelvin. A higher number Kelvin light source produces cooler light. Clear blue sky has a color temperature of 10,000 degrees Kelvin. There are three practical bulbs in my kit that I will show you. One, a Cree Daylight 5000K LED bulb. It has a CRI of 90 plus. If you don't know, the Color Rendering Index, CRI, is a scale from 0 to 100% indicating how accurate a given light source is at rendering color. The higher the CRI number, the better. 90 CRI for an affordable consumer bulb like this one from Cree is pretty good. Just for reference, our professional Godox light has a CRI of 96. I'll leave my full review of this light in the description below this video if you want to learn more about it. Let's move on to our second practical light bulb that we will show you. A TP-Link Smart Wi-Fi LED bulb. Its color temperature can be adjusted from 2700K all the way up to 6500K. This bulb is also dimmable and can be controlled by an app on your smartphone called CASA. We'll also look at a generic incandescent 60 watt A19 light bulb. It has a color temperature around 3000 Kelvin. It's dimmable but the color temperature gets warmer as it is dimmed. We'll also be using two plug-in lamp dimmers to control the brightness of these bulbs. One dimmer is for LED lights, the other is for incandescent lights. Before conducting the test of these practical bulbs, we white balance the camera to the color temperature of the Godox Daylight Balanced Light. White balancing your camera makes your colors look more natural. White becomes white. 
If you are using multiple lights with different color temperatures, you usually want to white balance with one light type. Just be aware that light coming from the other lights may produce warmer or cooler colors in your scene. This may be desired and add interest to your shot. If it's not, make sure that you are using lights and bulbs that have the same color temperature, or as close as possible. Enough about Kelvin color temperature. Let me show you what my bulbs look like on camera right next to light coming from a professional lighting fixture. The left side of our shot has a Cree bulb and a practical lamp. The right side of our shot is lit with the Godox VL150. As you can see, the light from the Cree LED bulb looks pretty good next to the light from the Godox professional light. They mix well together. Let's dim the Cree bulb using our LED dimmer and see if it still looks good. It does. Dimming this bulb does not cause any noticeable issues, at least in my eye. Next, let's take a look at the TP-Link Smart LED bulb. Using the CASA app, I adjusted its color temperature to match the Godox light. It looks pretty good in my opinion. If you want to cool down or warm up the TP-Link bulb, you can easily do it with the app. This light looks pretty good when it's dimmed as well. Dimming this bulb does not cause any noticeable issues, at least in my eye. Now let's take a look at the incandescent bulb. It's clearly a lot warmer than the daylight balanced Godox light, but sometimes you may want to achieve that look. If not, use one of the other daylight bulbs. As we dim this bulb with our non-LED dimmer, it becomes even warmer. Still, it does not flicker. Using this light depends on if you want that warm, cold mix of light look. Sometimes you will and sometimes you won't. I'll leave links to all these bulbs in the description below this video. Note, if your professional video light is tungsten balanced, 3200 Kelvin, you can purchase versions of some of these bulbs that match that color temperature, or at least come closer to it. I'll leave links to those bulbs as well. Well, I hope that you liked this video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.